either Jeffrey McDonald slaughtered his family or there were intruders imitating the Manson family. The mystery is about what happened in that house. Wilderness of Air is a multi-part true crime documentary series about the famous McDonald case. Back in 1970, Dr. Jeffrey McDonald has been charged with the murders of his pregnant wife and their two young daughters. McDonald blamed the crime on a group of hippies. It's the most popularized crime in American history. He's been swirling through the public consciousness for 50 years. Errol Morris wrote a book that brought into question the conviction in 1979. I wanted to write it because the case bothered me. The answers to who did it, what happened, why it happened are elusive. The real perpetrators of the crime could never be found. The book was a starting place, but ultimately we had to do our own investigation. It has gone beyond the book in the sense that Mark has been enormously successful at getting people to talk to him, doing additional research. We tried to track down everybody who was connected to the case. And these people kept a lot of the investigative materials, newspaper articles, and audio and video recordings of events that had happened 30 years ago. The next thing I know, I heard some screaming. When the stakes are high, we want answers. We want to know what happened, who did it, why. At the end of each episode, you're 100% convinced you know exactly what happened until the next episode, and you're 100% convinced the other way. There's a reason for the title, a wilderness of confusion, of mistakes, of misconceptions, a wilderness of error.